In this lecture, we are going to talk about the opening position. So this is the state that's going to be the first state if we start the application. So this is why, first of all, we have to make sure that in the index.html, we have already included the main.javascript, but now we have to include the position opening as well. So we have to make sure that the script source scripts position opening .js is going to be included. And what's important that because the main .javascripts rely heavily on the opening position, this is why we have to make sure that position opening .js precedes main .javascript. So the order does matter. And as far as the position opening is concerned, first of all, we have to define that it is a function opening position. Okay, and now we are going to define the prototypes. Again, these are basically classes, but in JavaScript, there is no class such as in Java or C++. So this is why we have to use prototype syntax, but it is very, very similar to classes in Java and C++. So it is going to be more or less a class, but with the half of prototypes. So this opening position, is going to be the same as we have defined here. So whenever we start the application, we go to the position opening position. So let's talk about position opening. And here we are going to define a draw function. This is what we have been discussed as well, that whenever the game loop starts, then here we are going to use update and draw. So we have to define the draw function as far as opening position is concerned. So opening position and here opening position dot prototype dot draw is equals to a function. We have to make sure that the argument is play. So in the main dot JavaScript, we can check that the update and draw function are dealing with the play object. So this is why we have to make sure that position opening is a function with a play argument. And now we have to deal with the user interface related items. So we are going to handle the title. We are going to handle the press space to start section and the game controls related stuff. So what's going to happen in the first section? First of all, we are going to get rid of all the items on the screen. So basically on the canvas. So we clear the rectangle as far as the canvas is concerned. The width and the height are equal to the width and height of the canvas. Then we are going to set the font. It is going to be centered. We are going to use a gradient. So create line gradient with play with divided by two minus 180 pixels, play dot height divided by two. So these are going to be the dimensions. This create line gradient function creates a linear gradient object and it has four parameters. The first parameter is the X coordinate of the start point of the gradient. The second parameter is the Y coordinate of the start point of the gradient. The third parameter is the X coordinate of the end point of the gradient. And the last parameter is the Y coordinate of the end point. So these are the end point related information and these are the starting points related information. Okay, then we have to define the gradient that it's going to be a yellow, red, yellow gradient. So the first half is a yellow, then there's going to be a red in the middle. And after that, there's going to be a yellow gradient. And the text is going to be UFO Hunter because this is the title of the game. And play with divide by two, play hate divide by two minus seven pixels. I'm going to talk about these parameters and then we are going to take a look at the concrete user interface and it's going to be clear what's happening under the hood. So it has something to do with the title. Then if we want to start the game, we have to press space. So again, we will print out with 40 pixels, Comic Sans and this color that press space to start. 
and then we are going to show the game controls such as game controls left arrow right arrow and space in order to fire so these are going to be the user interface related information save it sorry for that here in the game loop play present position is a function so we have to use something like this sorry for that it is extremely crucial to make sure that you do not use something like this but we call this function so if i save it and in the index.html again i open with leaf server then we end up with something like this ufo hunter game as you can see here is the gradient this is the title of the game yellow red and yellow gradient so if we check the position opening this is what's happening here it is a gradient yellow red and yellow gradient with text ufo hunter what about the next line it has something to do with press space in order to start so if i check it as you can see press space to start and finally we have the game controls left arrow move left right arrow move right and space in order to fire so it has something to do with these lines of codes so this is how we can draw texts on the given canvas and it is going to be the result so the opening position is the first state of the application so just to summarize again in the index.html we have defined the canvas itself on which we are going to draw the given application then we are going to include the javascript so position opening and main.javascript we have to make sure that the order is correct so main.javascript relies heavily on position opening so this is why position opening precedes main.javascript in the main.javascript we instantiate game basics with the canvas and we call the start function what's going to happen in the start function with the help of the set interval we are going to call the function with name game loop with this time period which means that we call that function in every 16th millisecond so this is the function we are talking about and then we go to position opening position what does it mean go to position let's search for that given function the go to position is going to push that given position onto the stack so on the position container and whenever the game loop function is called what's going to happen we get the present position the present position is going to return the last position we have inserted into the position container which is exactly the opening position so what's going to happen here if the present position is not a null of course it is not a null because it is the opening position then if the update function is present then we call that function let's check whether position opening has an update function or not of course it doesn't have any update function so basically nothing happens and if the present position dot draw function is available of course it is available because this is the draw function then what's going to happen then we are going to call that draw function with the play object and this is when these lines of code are going to be executed so we print out the title ufo hunter then we print out press space to start and finally we print out the game controls related stuff game controls left row right row and space and this is why we end up with something like this this is the opening position the opening state so in the coming lectures we are going to handle what to happen whenever the user hit space thanks for watching